The Statum Sterilizer is a very popular piece of equipment in the dental office today. Staff can avoid many service calls by taking proper care of the cassette and making sure to correct all leaks before attempting to troubleshoot the unit if they get a cycle fault or error code. But many times, if there are no visible leaks, the cycle fault may be an indication of a problem in the unit's solenoid valve, which is the focus of this video. Thank you for calling American Dental. How may I help you? A problem with the solenoid valve may be indicated for several cycle faults or error codes. Everything from failing to pressurize and reach an optimum temperature, to difficulty removing a cassette after venting. A loud buzzing noise indicates a clogged solenoid. Many of these errors suggest cleaning the valve of debris or checking for ease of movement of the plunger in the plunger tube. Our first step will be to disconnect the power to the sterilizer by unplugging the power cord. Never rely on just the power switch. If you disassemble the solenoid valve with the power on, you can cause damage to the valve coil. Once disconnected from the power, remove the nut, yoke, and coil. The manufacturer suggests using a pair of pliers on the welded area of the valve stem or plunger tube when removing the solenoid valve stem. If this is done incorrectly, the pliers could collapse the hollow area of the valve stem, preventing the plunger from moving freely. We offer a spanner nut which provides an easier, safer way to remove and install the valve stem. By using the spanner nut with a wrench, the valve can be removed without disturbing the plunger. Next, place the spanner nut over the valve stem or plunger tube and align the spanner nut pins with the base of the valve stem as seen here. Next, using a wrench on the spanner nut, loosen the valve stem to access the internal parts of the solenoid valve. Finally, remove any debris found in the valve body. It might be a good idea to blow air through all the orifices. Clean the plunger, make sure it slides smoothly in the plunger tube, and reassemble the solenoid valve. Take care not to over-tighten the valve stem when reinstalling. The stem should be snug and secure. About an eighth to a quarter turn with a wrench after finger tightening should be enough. Once the valve is reassembled, plug the sterilizer in and check for proper function. 
As you can see here, even something as intimidating as rebuilding the solenoid in this datum can be quickly and easily accomplished with a few simple tools.